The following video shows the proper donning and doffing of the AAMI Level 3 Isolation Gown. This gown has been approved by the Association for the Advancement of Medical Instrumentation, or AAMI. First, gather the necessary supplies. You will need a mask, an impervious gown, eye protection, nitrile gloves, and alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Place your equipment in a clean area where you can safely don your PPE. You want to think about what you have on your person. If you have any jewelry, such as watches, rings, earrings, or necklaces, you may want to consider taking those off as they can be a nexus for infection. Clean hands using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Good hand hygiene is the cornerstone to safely donning and doffing PPE. Use two or three pumps of alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Thorough hand cleaning should take about 20 seconds. Start by rubbing the front of the hands and the back. Get really good contact between the two palms. Move to the back of the hand and get in between the fingers, down to the web spaces. Do thumbs individually by wrapping the thumb with the opposite palm. Finish up by continuing to rub hands together until they are dry. Once your hands are dry, you are ready to don your gown. Visually check your gown for defects. If no defects are discovered, place your gown over your head and insert your arms into the sleeves. Insert your thumb into these thumb holes and push your hands through the end of the sleeves. Tear the sleeve perforations to separate the sleeves from the body of the gown. Secure the side flaps on the back or side of the gown with an adhesive label or tape. The next step is to don your mask. Hold your mask by the elastic ear straps. Loop both ear straps around your ears. Once looped, securing around your ears, expand the mask to ensure both your nose and mouth are protected. Using your fingers, mold the mask around the bridge of your nose, down the side of your face. Ensure your mask reaches down to below your chin. The next step is to put on your eye protection. If you wear glasses, your eye protection will go over your glasses. You are now ready to put on your gloves. Prior to putting on your gloves, ensure your thumbs are inserted in the thumb sleeve holes. Put your gloves on as you would normally. The key here is to pull the glove above the cuff of your sleeve. Ensure there is no skin showing between your glove and the gown. You are now ready to safely perform patient care. Now, let's go over the safe removal or doffing of your PPE. The first step to safe doffing is to perform proper hand hygiene. Apply alcohol sanitizer to your gloves. Rub your hands together vigorously for 20 seconds, making sure to cover both hands and all the fingers, front and back, as previously covered. The first piece of PPE to remove is your disposable gown. To remove your gown, first give yourself a hug. Grab your gown at the shoulders. Pull the gown forward from the shoulder area. Keep your hands inside the sleeves while you roll the gown away from your body, down toward the gloves. Remove the gown and the gloves together as an entity, allowing both gown and gloves to drop towards the floor. While only touching the clean inside of the gown, push the gown down all the way past your feet. Carefully step out of the gown. Dispose of the gown and other potentially contaminated PPE according to medical waste procedures. Now, re-sanitize your hands. Be sure not to touch your face or mask. Pull your eye protection off by grabbing the outer edges of your glasses forward and away from your body. After removing your eye protection properly, either dispose of them or decon them and store them for reuse. Now, take your mask off. Bend slightly forward, grab the ear straps from around your ears and pull forward. Safely dispose of your mask. Once PPE is removed, you want to wrap up the doffing procedure by once again using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer for a full 20 seconds. Finally, wash your hands and expose skin around your face and neck with soap and warm water. Now you are ready to move on to caring for the rest of the other patients.